it seems like this is what he wants, Jamie. He wants to be starting games. Gary talks about the chances of him, or talked about him signing a contract, not almost that it's a given, but do you think that's a big hurdle for Chelsea to cross, getting him to sign a deal? If I was Hudson, I wouldn't sign. No, I wouldn't. Uh, I he's think been at this club since he was seven years old. I know he has. And, and the position he's in, he's in a very strong position. And I'm not saying don't sign to try and get more money or cause some big problem. I love the fact this lad hasn't signed a contract. Not because of a money thing or wanting to leave Bayern Munich. Because he wants to play. There's a frustration there at a young age. Now, he's still very young. And I think I'm not someone who's saying he should be playing every week. I'm delighted for him, he's playing at a young age, but I love the courage he's shown. Too often now, I think players just sign big, long contracts, they're on lots of money, and in some ways, you think, where's the career going? When they actually want to move or go on loan, they can't because the wages are on too high. Yes, he could sign and have a four-year deal, be on all kinds of money, secure his family, but he's willing to say, if I don't play, I want to go. Now, I wouldn't be going at the end of the season if I was him. I'd use the last year of my contract, the situ situation Chelsea are in, in some sort of way, as leverage. And I don't mean this as a, a disrespectful way or a bad attitude. This lad wants to play. Prove to, he should, he's saying to Chelsea, prove to me next season how important you, I am to you by playing me. Chelsea was saying, we want to give you a five-year deal, we want to believe in you. Chelsea want to give him a five-year deal because they're terrified he's going to go for nothing. And as a business, they're going to lose money. So I, I, I've got great respect for what this lad is doing at this moment. And I, I don't think he should sign. I don't think he should leave. I think he should play there next season and see how many games he plays. And if he plays enough, sign a contract to the Boyhood Club. If not, move on. I, I see what Jamie's saying. There's a point for me here around 20 years ago, the young player in the dressing room, you know, if Brian Robson walked in the changing room and said to me, sign your contract, young boy, you'd have signed the contract. And it would have been the same at Liverpool as well, because that's the way we behaved 25 years ago. We would just adhere to it. We would stay at the club, we'd sign the contract. And there is something in that, that loyalty, that stability. Because one thing's clear, I, I get what you're saying. If he's thinking about the development of his career and playing, then I agree with you. This kid's played 14, he started 14 matches this season for Chelsea and Chelsea Reserves, Premier League 2. That is appalling. A player who is that, has that ability needs to develop further than that, needs, needs more games in the bank to build up his resilience, his robustness, his learning. What I would say is, though, Having a distraction over you, like your contract for another 18 months, having the questions over you in your most formative years, in the years which you're growing the most, the years which you're learning the most, and people think eventually you're a money grabber, the fans start to turn. Does he really want that in his life as well? And I, I, I look at both sides of it and I think to myself, is there a way of him being able to sign a contract with Chelsea, his boyhood club, a way in which potentially gives Chelsea the security that they want, gives the player the, the, the stability that he needs to be able to develop his career. He should be playing in the first team more, he should be playing more games. But let's say Chelsea don't play him next season and only play him 10 matches. He has a clause in there that says if you don't play more than a certain amount of games, I don't even know if this is possible, that he's then allowed to leave for X million, 5 million, 10 million, something like that, which incentivises the club to play him, but gives him stability. Because I think when young players have got distractions in the head about contracts and money and all that, so it's not great for them either. Their agents are into them and the club, clubs are into them. Just just play football, learn every day about football and don't think about contracts and money, even though I respect the fact that he has got a character and personality for standing up to his club. I, I think at times, he's the position he's in, I, I think clubs bully players into signing long contracts at times. And we may have been there, Listen, I'm not saying we didn't want to sign, what I'm saying is at times clubs do it to make sure they've got a resale value. Brendan Rodgers, obviously, I worked with him at Liverpool. He'd come from Chelsea a few years before. He's seen this model of he was in the youth setup, in the reserves. And he'd he come out with a saying when he first came out, young players. And it wasn't just about Chelsea, but mainly this club. We pay them to fail. And I, and I, I sort of explain what, what you mean. He said the problem is, certainly at the club I'm at, and maybe at other clubs now, and we see that the, the revenue that they get, these young players, we're giving them that much money, the hunger's is going. And then when they do want to move on, as I've just said earlier, they can't get out on loan because no one can afford the wages. So in some ways, you end up with a loftus cheek. Now, I'm delighted he's playing tonight, but we still talk of loftus cheek as a young player. He's 23. He's only started... I, 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 this I know, is ninth no, Premier League start for Chelsea it, tonight. His ninth Premier Well, that says... Uh, <laughs> Hudson Odoi does not want to become loftus cheek. Now, I hope loftus cheek plays brilliant tonight. He's been in an England squad. He's done well at Palace on loan. But he seems stuck at Chelsea. That might be the reason. Uh, I don't think at 23 uh, he wants to get to, me, to, uh, to that stage. And giving them that much money, and when they sign those big contracts, that's what he said, paying them to fail. And it's happened so often. I think there was no, a lad McEachern, Shalaba before. So often at Chelsea, it to me, To me, this is such a prehistoric view of coaches in this game and pundits at times in this game saying, we're paying them to fail. 
get over it. You're going to be coaching players that are on big money. Facts. So the idea that let's keep them off big money until the 22, let's, let's, let's give them a spend every week, those days are gone. So coaches coming out saying we're paying them to fail and we shouldn't be giving them this contract and we shouldn't be giving them this contract. No, coaches now have to adapt. So you're myself. saying that isn't a problem no. in football with young players? I'm not, I'm not no, sitting here as, as an ex-old player saying no, it's a no, disgrace. Good no, no, luck, you can name what you want. It is a bit of that. But it's I'm talking about that. the it's hunger. It's a bit of that. It is a bit of that. These players are worth potentially 100 million. They're going to get paid big money from the age of 17, 18 when they've got huge talent. The clubs have to give them that money or else they'll leave. One thing I would say is about these young lads now. We said 20 years ago there were leaders in the game, the characters, there were men who were fighting. These lads now have actually got more about them than we had 20 years ago, so they will stand up to the club. They've got some guts and a little bit of courage to say, I'm not signing for you, you won't. If you don't play me, I'm going to leave. Sancho's one at City, this boy here now, Pogba did it at United. It's getting more and more, and actually I admire it in such a way, and the idea of coaches looking at players and saying they get too much too soon, that's not going to change. That is the modern day. So you have to coach differently or adapt to that. I agree with you. Life's not like it was 25 years ago. It doesn't sound like it. Just call me prehistoric. It's a prehistoric view.